A Russian spacecraft has crashed into the moon after spinning out of control, according to the country's space corporation. The unmanned robot lander, Luna 25, was set to be the first spacecraft to land on the moon's South Pole. This was the firing gun on the latest space race. Russia and India both launching off in a bid to be the first country to deliver a lander to the South Pole of the moon. And the frozen water, the scientists believe, may lie there. Russia had a slight head start. It launched its Luna 25 spacecraft four days ahead of India. And this was the prize. These pictures taken by the Russian craft. But 10 days into its mission to the moon, Luna 25 crashed into it instead. In a statement, the Roscosmos Space Agency said, the apparatus moved into an unpredictable orbit and ceased to exist as a result of a collision with the surface of the moon. The moon was considered a fast, dry, desert-like surface. So that opens up an opportunity if there is water, then at future there could be habitation on the moon. So India, America, China, uh, Japan, all of them are looking closely at the south pole of the moon. China was the latest country to land a probe on the moon, putting a rover on its far side for the first time. It's also launched a space station, which will be the only one in orbit once the International Space Station is decommissioned in January 2031. Space is becoming, once again, another field of competition for great powers. And last week, the US talked about its own ambitions, to land humans on the moon once again. In the meantime, though, with Russia out of the way, the Indian mission has its eyes on the prize. Its spacecraft took these recent pictures. It's expected to reach the moon on August the 23rd. Landing on it, as Russia found out, is a trickier manoeuvre.